Yo, what's good guys, Medical Gamer over here, bringing you another Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle, single battle, UU tier, all that good stuff. So let me just give a quick team recap since the first time, or may, it might be the second time, but I think it's going to be the first time that you guys are going to be seeing this team. So we have Batman, the Noivern with Air Slash, Draco Meteor, Flamethrower, U-Turn, and the item Life Orb. We have Steelix, Mega Steelix, so Steelix Sight, with Heavy Slam, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, and Toxic. And we have Flying Mower, <laughs> the Rotom Mo, Choice Specs, Leaf Storm, Hidden Power, uh, Ice, I believe, uh, Volt Switch, and Trick. We have Chandler the Chandler, Chandelure, with Life Orb, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, Flamethrower, Hidden Power, Fighting. We have Sylveon, the Choice Scarfed Sylveon, with Psy Shock, Hidden Power, Fire, I believe, I Hyper Beam, Hyper Voice. And we actually switched out the Tentacruel for Milotic because I wanted to use Milotic with Toxic, Ice Beam, Scald, and Recover. So, without further ado, let's get to the battle. I'm actually going to pull up a list. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take a picture of their team before I forget. Before I forget. And you guys get to see me take a picture live on the face cam. So, yep. Taking a picture, checking it twice like Santa Claus does. So, we want to do... Stealth Rocks first, probably. I don't know who they're gonna- I really don't know who they're gonna lead off with. But it's always good to set the Stealth Rocks. They have like an anti- Oh! Their Crobat probably has Defog, though. So you know what? Let's, uh, let's withdraw you. And Flying Mower, what is your speed? Flying Mower, your speed is 151. So you're kinda fast. Ah, uh, who do I want to go for? Solid, I feel like Solid Snake would be a solid start. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, it doesn't have anything to hit the Crobat with, though. I guess Heavy Slim would work. So, you know what? Let's go for Solid Snake. You know what? Why not? I mean, I have honestly no idea who to start with. Flying Mower might have been the better option, but... Let's just go with Solid Snake because I haven't really used this team. So, I at least I haven't used it for single battles. So, I don't really know how it's going to work out. But we shall see. So, anyways, Gabu, Gabu is issuing a challenge. I'm going to go out with Solid Snake. Now, I'm also going to pull up my team just to verify the hidden powers. So, they do go in for the Metagross. So... There's a very good chance that their Crobat has Defog, and I would I, I would think that it has a Defog. So if it does have the Defog, then that would mean that it will be able to get rid of my Stealth Rocks. I don't know what the Metagrosses go for. I feel like it doesn't have anything super effective against me, though. So I'm going to go for the Mega Evolution. I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks, just in case they switch in the Crobat. They don't, so I could have gone for the Earthquake, but I, I was afraid of the Crobat, so I didn't want to go for that. So, right now I'm just checking, so, Hidden Power Fighting is on the Sylveon. They go for- oh, I forgot, Earthquake is super effective on me too. Yo, but we tanked that, our defense is so high. It is sky high, so, that is good, and I'm gonna switch out because I want to preserve my Solid Snake. I don't want it to go down, so, just in case- the Metagross will go for another Earthquake. I feel like Flying Mower or Batman would be a good option. I think that Batman is a better option because it has the Flamethrower. So let's go into Batman and see what the opponent wants to do. So finishing the Hidden Power. So yes, Hidden Power Fighting is on the Chandler and Rotom Mo does have the Hidden Power Ice. So I was right about that. Ah, uh, this is not good. See, I wanted the Tentacruel to have the Rapid Spin on my team. So I can get rid of Stealth Rocks, I can get rid of Hazards, I can also absorb the Toxic Spikes and set up Toxic Spikes on my own. But unfortunately, I could not get the Tentacruel. Sorry, the light just went out, so there we go. Turn the light back on. It, it has like a motion sensor and it goes off um, if it's not activated for a bit. So who else do they have on their team? So they have the Entei for the Flamethrower. So I don't know if I want to go for the Flamethrower. And, uh... You know what? I'm going to go for the Flamethrower. I don't think Entei has any Flash Fire, flash fire or anything like that. At least I hope it doesn't. Uh, yeah, Flamethrower, I'm going to risk it. They're going to go into the Entei. <gasps> they didn't go into the Entei! How much are we going to do? How much are we going to do? How much are we going to do? 
Oh, we almost take it out. So close. We got the burn. That would... <laughs> All right. Well, bye-bye, Batman. Bye-bye, Batman. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, that's why they went for, uh, they kept their Metagross in. Ah, the Flamethrower almost took it out. That was ridiculous. Who are they going to want to go into? Who are they going to want to go into? Let's go into Milotic. Milotic is a good switch in, just a good wall to just set up. I can't believe they had the explosion. Uh, so, effectively, I got nothing done. I got my Steelix injured, and I got one of my best guys, my Batman, going down and they have a heliolisk pretty sure heliolisk has like dry skin or whatever so water type moves won't do anything on it uh, they're reading me like a book and i don't want to go into solid snake because i feel like they're gonna go for the surf you know i'm gonna predict them to go for the surf could be a terrible terrible prediction but let's just see what happens why not grass knot Okay. So no predictions there. They and we missed the toxic. <laughs> and we missed the toxic, guys. All right. Well, uh I could go into flying mower. Flying mower is probably our best option over here. We can take the electric type moves. We can take the grass type moves. Oh my god. How do we If we hit the toxic, I think we would have been okay. Like we wouldn't have been in we wouldn't have been good by any means, but we would have been okay. So, Grass Knot, not very effective. Wow, just like nothing. So, we do have a choice specs on this uh, on this Rotom. So, do I want to trick it off? That is the question. Do I want to trick it off, or do I want to go for the Hidden Power Ice? See, I don't know what their Heliolisk has. I wasn't really paying attention. I think it has a Life Orb. Oh, it does have a Life Orb. So, do I want the Heliolisk to be choiced? I feel like I don't want the Heliolisk to be choice spec because that's just adding to their damage. So let's not trick. Let's go for a Hidden Power Ice. I think that's our best option because it does good damage to a lot of their guys. And I don't think they're switching out of this thing. Oh, they're probably going to switch out of this thing. But they're probably going to predict me to go for a Grass type or an Electric type move. So they predict a Grass type. Hmm. Maybe I should just go for the Volt Switch. Let's go for the Volt Switch. I don't think that this thing has Volt Absorb, so I'm going to go for the Volt Switch. They withdraw. Who are they going to go into? Nobody can absorb my Electric Hits. Perfect. Chestnut, Grass, and Fighting. It is not very effective, but I will get the Free Switch into most probably my Milotic, I think. So that is not very effective, but it does a good amount of damage because I do have the Choice Specs. And, uh, oh, no, I don't want to go into my Milotic. If I go into my Milotic... My luck is going to go down, so I think I'm going to go into Chandler. Um, Chandler or the Sylveon. Who has higher speed? Chandler has 144, and Sylveon has 111. So I think I'm going to go into Chandler. So once again, I don't know if Entes have Flash Fire. I don't think that they do. I'm going to quickly just look it up, because I don't want to just go for a fire move if... Uh, Entei's have Flash Fire, or anything that can absorb Fire-type moves. So, Entei, Cerebi, Cerebi.com, Pokemon Dex, X and Y. Entei has Flash Fire. Perfect. Alright, guys. Entei has Flash Fire. So, I can't go for the Fire-type move. I cannot safely just go for a Fire-type move. They do not have a normal... Oh, Heliolisk is part normal. What about Hidden Power Fighting? Fighting would do pretty good damage against everyone on their team, except for the Crobat. Hmm. I feel like they're definitely going to switch in the Entei. And, you know what? I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball. I don't think they're going to put in the Heliolisk. I think the Entei is going to come in. Let's see who comes in. See who comes in. See who comes in. Entei! Perfect. Okay, so really good thing that I looked up if Entei has Flash Fire or not, because I would have just gone for the Flamethrower, powered up their Entei, and that would have been the end of the their Entei is Pressure. Oh, it's okay. At least we're doing a stab. We're doing a stab move, and it's not not very effective this time. So I think that I can safely go for a Flamethrower now, because I think the Flamethrower will still take out the Entei, and uh, it doesn't have anything to necessarily absorb the Flamethrower except for 
The Crawdon, it'll do less damage on, but it should be okay. I don't want to go for an Energy Ball because there's really no point. So Flamethrower, they don't have the Flash Fire because we did see they outspeed. Oh my god. And they hit a Stone Edge. We, mix, we miss a Toxic and they hit a Stone Edge and they get a crit. How, <laughs> how is that fair? I don't know how that's fair, but... Oh well, so uh, my Lodic is definitely not going out speed, but I do want to get the recover off. Okay, so that's 101, and my guy was like, I think that was my my fastest guy on the team. Okay, Flying Mower is faster, and Batman is faster, but Batman is obviously not in. So I don't want to go into Flying Mower because the Entei could very well outspeed. I guess my Lodic is our best option. I could go into Sylveon, but I don't want Sylveon to just take free damage. I'd rather have my Lodic come in and go for the recover. I, I want to go for the recover, try to get HP back. If they do connect a Stone Edge, if they do go for another Stone Edge and they connect it, my Melodic is going down. And I don't I don't know if a Fire type move. They hit two Stone Edges. How is this pop? Like how? I missed one Toxic and they hit two Stone Edges. I don't know if the accuracy is the same. I feel like Stone Edge is less, but oh well. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Um, I guess Sylveon. Sylveon, you can come in. I don't really have very many options at this point. Kind of, kind of disappointed by the hacks, but you know. Like, my opponent is playing better. I kind of wanted to get a win because we've been losing quite a lot, but I did... I don't know if that battle is going to be released before this or after this, but I did actually win my latest battle. Don't know when it's going to be released for you guys, though. So, I shall just go for the Hyper Voice. It is resisted by the Metagross and the Crobat, but I think it could be the best option. I could always go for the Hidden Power Fire because that will most likely still take the Entei out. I, oh, I have choice specs on this thing. Oh, that's right. No, no, I don't have choice specs. I have a choice scarf. That's right, I forgot I had a choice scarf. Otherwise, I, I would have just come in before. My Lottie didn't have to go down. All right, so so th this makes us think. So they have a Heliolisk, they have a Crobat. Um, Entei will go down to no matter what I do. So they also have a Crawdon. They have a Metagross and they have a Chestnut. So they're going to know that I'm choice after I go for whatever move I go for. So Hidden Power Fire will do good damage against everyone except for the Crawdon. So let's go for the HP Fire and it'll probably take out the Entei. Let's see if it does. They're going to know I'm choice Scarf now because Sylveon would not outspeed Entei. So I don't take out the Entei, and they get a third Stone Edge off. And I can't even switch out my Sylveon now, because they have Stone Edge. Oh, uh, not Stone Edge, Stealth Rocks. And Sylveon would just go down to the Stealth Rocks. I, I honestly thought that it would kill. And that is the best move I could have gone for, because it would hit all of their guys for neutral or super effective damage, besides the Crawdon. You know, we're going to keep going, because at this point, there's no point in switching Sylveon out, you know? They're probably Choice, choice Scarfed also, and they're going to outspeed us. Because they didn't switch up the- yeah, okay, Volt Switch, there you go. There you guys go. So, that's going to basically be the game. You know, I really do need to improve. I really, really do need to improve. I get a switch initiative, but it's not like it matters. I only have two guys left and they have a five or four. They have four guys. So, I don't even remember what guys I have left, but my guys are both slow. That's the problem. If they were faster, I'd be okay. All my fast guys got taken out. So flying mower is an okay option. Mm, flying mower is probably my only option, to be honest. Or Solid Snake. The Solid Snake doesn't really have much to touch the Crobat. I guess I can just go for a Heavy Slam. I guess. Let's, let's just do it. There's no way this thing has Earthquake, so... 
But the Metagross is still alive, and the Metagross can always go for Earthquake. And I'm not going to outspeed it, so that's that. I could go for the Earthquake predicting the Metagross to come in, but there's no way that's going to happen. Let's just go for the Heavy Slam. Let's go for the Heavy Slam. They go for U-Turn. Ah, are they going to go into the Metagross? Actually, wait, their Metagross is very low on health. I don't know if a Heavy Slam is enough to take it out, but um, even, they can go into the Crawdont too. The Crawdont will be able to tank that. They resist the Heavy Slam. And they probably know that... Yeah, okay, Crawdont, there you go. If I went for the EQ, I might have had a chance, but no, the Crawdont has, definitely has like Aqua Jet or any, any... Oh my god, that still does a butt-ton of damage. That does a lot of damage. All right, well, um... I don't know if another Heavy Slam is going to take it out, so I'm going to go for an EQ. Because they're probably, they're just going to go for a Waterfall or something like that, and it's going to take us out. Even though we have Sky High Defense, it really doesn't matter. It's going to it's gonna take us out. So, I'm going to go for the EQ. It will do more damage, because I am not sure if the the Heavy Slam would take out the Crawdon. I feel like it would, but, oh, Super Power. Okay, well, now we're definitely gone. Yep. So, their attack is going to fall, their defense is going to fall. Not like it matters though, I only have one guy left, and it is the Rotom, that is Choice Specs. So, I, is there any move that I can safely be locked into and still be able to take out this team? Let's see. So, Trick, I would go for a Trick, but I don't know what item this Crawdon has. And I don't necessarily, like if it's a Choice Band, I don't want that. Um, Leaf Storm, no way, because then my special attack is going to keep falling. Hidden Power Ice would actually be okay against all of their guys except for the Metagross. And the Crawdon, obviously. I have to take out the Crawdon. Hmm. I guess Volt Switch, um, the Heliolisk is of course going to be able to do a lot against that. But I'm going to just lock myself into Volt Switch. I really feel like that's my only option. So Volt Switch, at least we're going to lose 3 0, you know. It's better than losing 4-0. There's no way I could have gone for the HP Ice. The HP Ice is not even stab and it would be resisted. It would do base 30 damage against the Crawdon. So I think 2 might not have even taken it out. So there's no way I could have gone for that risk. They're going to go for the Heliolisk. And I don't know if Heliolisks have Volt Absorb. They very well could. And let's see. Either... Oh, I mean, they're going to... Yeah, they're going to get Hyper Voice off. So that's going to take us out, most likely. Because Rotom doesn't have much defense. And that is going to be the game. I made some bad plays, but you know what? I'm getting used to this team now, and next one I will win. I can 99% guarantee that I will win the next battle because I'm used to this team now, and I'm used to the choice items now, and I kind of know, I kind of have a strategy now. So, yes, save the battle. You got to save your losses too, not just your wins. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to get out of here. Peace.